What am I doing in today's video? I know y'all wondering. Cause y'all not really, y'all don't really know no. But let me tell y'all myself. Coming closer. Your girl's getting a skinny BBL. Like <gasps> me, little old me. This is my body. This is my life. Surgery is really a confidence thing. Like internally, I've been doing all the work. You ain't fuck me. You fuck the old body. You ain't fuck me. You fuck the cold body. When I say this experience has been a very interesting one. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, I'm at pre-op. I can't really film too much. Try to give you guys a little glimpse. Look, it says pre-op. Pre-op. I'm in my bag. Okay. So guys, now that I'm officially settled in at the recovery house, I got to go upstairs, I got to go downstairs, I got to fill it out, and I'm feeling a vibe. I feel at ease, I feel calm. I feel really, really good about this. Like, I never felt so confident about something like this ever, and I think that I feel so good. I know that I feel so good. I feel like I'm at home. The vibes is chill, the nurses is chill. Shout out to House of Diamonds. This is not paid promo at all. None of this is paid promo in this video, but shout out to House of Diamonds for allowing me to stay here. You guys are doing such a great job with your business. So shout out to y'all, I love y'all, highly recommend it. So to the girlies that's watching and y'all need a recovery house, go tune in to House of Diamonds. But what am I doing in today's video? I know y'all wondering. Cause y'all really, don't really know no, but let me tell y'all myself. Coming closer. Your girl's getting a skinny BBL, like me, little old me, getting a skinny BBL. Like I was so against surgery, y'all. I didn't want to take that risk. I really wasn't comfortable, and I don't know how. Like I finally woke up one day, like no, I'm doing this. Like I'm doing this to myself internally. I'm not backing out. I'm doing it. I'm following through with it. Like I can't even believe it. Like me, I didn't even tell everybody. Like I told very few people, and some of the people that I did tell were in my ear, making noise, saying things that I didn't want to hear, that was shifting my opinion. But now I realize, like my voice. This is the only voice that matters. This is my body, this is my life. I have to do what's best for me and live for me and only me. Are you nervous for surgery and what exactly? I was a little nervous before my pre-op appointment, but at my pre-op appointment, I got to speak to my doctor, which I couldn't film on camera. But speaking to my doctor definitely made me feel super comfortable even more. My consultation with him was via Zoom and we had a great conversation. Probably was like 10, 15 minutes, but then pre-op was a little more in depth and I got to ask him questions, you know, furthermore about the process. He got to touch my body and, you know, show me where he could pull fat from. So I was nervous and I was only nervous about the anesthesia part, but my doctor spoke to me and he worked my nerves down. He told me like, you're young. You're the most healthiest you'll ever be in life at this exact moment to get a surgery like this. For me, that itself made me feel super more comfortable. And his energy, he had great energy, his aura, the staff, my coordinators, they have overall just been so good to me. I feel like, wow, like thank you. Like just thank you for the experience. I came into contact with good people who are just making sure that they're taking care of me while doing their job and making me feel confident and encouraging me like, you got this, you could do this. This is what you want, like, you could you could do this. Shout out to my doctor, Dr. Manny. How did getting your body done come about? For some people this might be new, like me just popping out my body done. I was so against it, but me getting my body done came about, I used to hide. I currently am hiding. I got sweats on, I got a shirt on. I just always hide my body and I've always hid it because I just felt uncomfortable in my skin. My midsection is not the best. And at some point in your life, no matter how good you eat or how bad you do eat, stubborn fat is just stubborn fat and you just can't get rid of it. I would work out so consistently and it wasn't going nowhere. So this was like my last resort and I followed through with it this time and actually am getting surgery. But it was, surgery is really a confidence thing. Like internally, I've been doing all the work with the therapist, me just being so sound and spiritually finding myself internally and externally now I just want my lifestyles to match. Like I feel good internally and I just wanna feel good and look good on the outside. I just want them to both be correspondent. So that's how me getting my body done came about. I got tired of hiding behind baggy clothes or wanting to be a boy because 
you know, it was just easier to do because I just wasn't confident in my body. So that's how surgery came about. What are you excited about on this journey? Something I'm excited about the most on the journey is my results. Like my results is what I'm really excited about because this this body right now that y'all seeing, I mean, I can't really forget it, but I really want to forget it and I really want to embrace my new body because this old body, I feel like I haven't been kind to this body in a sense of like what I've been saying, the words that I've said to my body, what I have allowed people to speak on to my body. So I'm excited for my new results and me being able to just be more mindful and conscious of what I'm feeding myself and not allowing social media to tell me that my body should look a certain way, blah, 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 blah. And sidebar, guys, like my surgery is a skinny BBL. So it's gonna be super natural results. It's not gonna be big, botched, or anything of the sort. I'm doing this for me. This is not because I my job requires it. This is not because I'm in a nightlife and I need a certain image, or this is not because I'm trying to fit a certain aesthetic. Like, this is all really like for me, for real, for real. That's where I'm at on my journey. And y'all here with me, like, shout out to my manager. I love you. What would I do without her? Like, the emotional support, that this lady gives me is beyond this world. So shout out to her and I definitely recommend if you have somebody that you do trust and you do love and you feel super comfortable with embarking this journey on, do that. But I think it's, I need to eat, I didn't eat nothing. So we're about to eat, right? All right, we're gonna eat. I'll bring y'all with me so y'all can see what we eating and we'll check back in later. We just pulled up to Texas Roadhouse. Let's see what this is about. This looks so good. It's like fresh baked bread, y'all. Right, look what she got. I got like some tenders and fries, mm. and mustard and ketchup, and you know I gotta add barbecue sauce on everything, so I'm waiting for to bring it back. But heavy on the protein. Thank you. It's surgery day, like what the hell? I have on a do rag because I'm literally gonna be like out, like I'm gonna be asleep. So I put the do rag on so my braids are like flat. I said flat, like girl, why are you worried about them braids? Oh, that's one of my alarms. I was sitting here listening to gospel music. Yeah, I was saying, listen, guys, I just got the shower. I washed up last night with the antibacterial soap. You have to do that. And then I washed up again just now with antibacterial soap. And guess what? My period is trying to drop. Like, bro, what are you doing? Why today? Like, my period always comes on time. And this was the day that it was supposed to come. So, whatever. I have to pee again. And I peed this morning when I woke up. But when you get to the surgery center, they take urine to make sure you're not pregnant. So, I'm trying to hold out this pee. I was going to put on clothes. I was going to put on what I had on yesterday. Because I only broke two outfits. Like, one coming and one for going and then I brought a bunch of robes and socks and compression so right now I have on this robe that I have to wear and then let me show you what else I have on so right now I have on a robe and then I have on compression socks and then I'm gonna put on another robe like this is like a little gown but you got to put on another robe to come out of surgery because you're gonna be cold so I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna wear some Nike socks some Nike slippers because I can't wear my morning slides something that's like compression but I pray I'm excited I feel good I wash my face and I brush my teeth so I'm really feeling good the energy in this house feels good too so it's giving me the confidence the girls came in here checked up on me like girl are you ready like I got a gown for you if you don't got a gown like what you need you ready so that felt good I'm ready like I'm ready like let's get this show on the road I really couldn't film much yesterday because you know in certain areas you just really can't film because there's other people around you so they don't allow you to film so a bunch of questions that you guys are gonna have I'm gonna like y'all could comment and I'm gonna make sure that I answer them in another video like a sit down video with the camera not moving and things of that sort it's surgery day so let me finish getting ready I'm gonna pray a little bit more I'm gonna get on my knees and actually pray more and I'm about to head out so I think I catch you guys at the surgery since I'll film a little bit if possible Later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing. So this is Shirley, y'all. Y'all can't see her, but she's helping me at the house. This is surgery day. She's getting the bed ready for when I come back. She's laughing because she, she <laughs> can't believe that I really fell in her process for y'all. But look, y'all, y'all see it in real time. She's been so nice. Yesterday I had someone different. I had Gigi. <laughs> Take your time, Miss Shirley. Yesterday I had Gigi, today Miss Shirley's on. You wanna have Gigi tonight? <laughs> oh, Gigi's coming tonight? Yeah. Gigi's super nice, oh. they're both nice. The room looks crazy, but I'm about to leave now for surgery, so catch you guys later. So the driver just came. Starting route to new life plastic surgery. This is the back when you come out of surgery. I'm excited. My best friend said I love you so much. Love you more, bestie, and I'm on the Tessie. I forgot today's the name. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sit now, please. A few moments later. That's it. 
so guys, six hours out of surgery. I'm about to eat. This is like my second, third meal. And my butt just feels like it's on fire. Like it's literally burning. And I hate that feeling, but besides that, I've been taking medication. That really didn't feel like it was really working. But I'll explain more about my surgery and how that went later on when I feel better. I've been drinking. They want you to stay hydrated, so my nurse just brought me food. And my manager told her I like fruit, so they bring me some fruit too. Shout out to House of Diamonds. This is not promo. I just I just love the hospitality here and the emotional support that I'm having from them and my manager. So I love y'all. Check back in later. Hey guys, it's day two. I'm just waking up. I feel so much better. I feel more alive now. Day one, my ass was on fire. Like, yo, if fire was a person, it was me. Like for real, for real. My nurse just brought me tea to help with my incisions. It helps heal my incisions. And then fruit and eggs. I'm not really an eggs person, but maybe I'll eat some eggs today. I had a hard time peeing yesterday. And like coming out of surgery, I thought I had to pee, but I really didn't. It was just the coldness and the like pressure. I'm feeling so much better today. And I have my first massage, so I'm a little nervous, but one day at a time. All right, so you see I have my drainage on y'all. I'm still draining, still day two. I just came back to the recovery house. My nurse redid my bed for me. They got me a gift, some good goodies in a basket. I just finished eating. I had like chicken soup. This is the breakfast that I had earlier. It was like little fruits. Pretty sure she's gonna take that down when she goes back. But now I'm about to change my faja for the first time. So uh, let's see how this goes. This is day four? Yeah. This is day four and I don't wish this on nobody. Be, be positive. No, I'm telling y'all the truth. Y'all gonna get the real spill. I gotta tell y'all more in detail everything, but I'm leaving, I'm going home today. How are we gonna get in here? We gonna get in here. Um, It's been a journey. That's what I'll say for now. Uh, I'll tell y'all the rest later when I'm when I'm feeling better. Um, Maybe I'll finish out this video or do another video answering y'all questions, but it's been a long journey, y'all. This shit is not for me. I'll see y'all in the next clip. When I say this experience has been a very interesting one, like my body is so uncomfortable, I'm sore. There's so many things that influencers don't tell you about getting your body done. And I've watched every single video that I know there possibly is out there and that wasn't enough. Cause clearly a lot of this stuff I'm just so still new to. And some of the stuff I kinda had an idea of because I watched a lot of videos, but when I say this shit is not for the week, you have to mentally prepare yourself like no other. My best friend is supposed to be doing this with me. I'm kind of sad that she has to do it by herself because I know she mentally, like, you know, we will be able to feed off each other's energy. You need that emotional support. So I just have to be able to cheer her on, you know, when it's her turn. Mentally prepare yourself for surgery if you're going to do it. And I, like I said, I know you guys are going to have a bunch of questions. I'm going to answer all your questions. Just make sure you comment down everything below. I'll do a separate video as I get better and answer all you guys' questions all in one video because I feel like it's important for y'all to get answers from someone who really went through it in very detailed and not just something so surfacey. It's so much work. This is a lot, y'all. <sighs> I, I don't know, but I love y'all for even just tuning in and watching it. I'm proud of myself. I'm gaining back my strength every day. Shout out to my emotional support, my manager. I love you more than anything. She holds it down, so. We getting better, we on our way back to New York City. I'm trying to stay incognito, but oh, I'm so tired. Like I have not gotten any sleep whatsoever, but I love y'all. Made it back to New York City safe. Look how I look, y'all. Skin breaking out, so incognito. But the ass is fucked. Now y'all can't see it yet, so that's good. I was covering myself so when they couldn't see with my drainage on the uh, plane. Yo, I got the best sleep thus far on that plane just now.